Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Tanner, and welcome to Crypto Bible. I thought I would do another Trias update for you guys. Um, obviously, on the screen right now, you can see I've got a previous video which I uploaded on the 27th of September. I'm going to show you a 10 second clip uh, and then basically dive into Trias because there was something that I said in that video that has basically happened. It's, it's something that we were expecting. Um, so, you know, this dip that we are currently having right now, it was kind of something that we expected to happen. It's a level of resistance, which we hit. Uh, but the good news is that once we do end up breaking through that resistance, you know, we could see some much higher price levels coming up right after that, looking at about $13 to come right after that. But I'm going to dive into all of that right now. But for about 10 seconds, I'm just going to keep quiet so you guys can listen to this video. And then I'll show you guys um, after what I mean. Um, if I go to our local high um, on the short term time frame, I believe it's around nine point five dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So let's have a look here from our high to our low right there. We're looking at about nine point five dollars, which is our point seven oh two retracement. What would typically happen here is that we would either reject it and start heading our way down or we'd get to it, find a bit of consolidation. But if we break above it, you're looking at new highs. You can see this. So that's basically what, what I wanted to show you. And now we're going to take a look at the trias chart right now, right? So what I was basically saying is that, you know, the 0.702 retracement is a level, um, is a retracement that I take a look at on the Fibonacci retracement tool. Um, and the 0.702 is usually where we tend to find a lot of resistance, right? And um, this is the daily time frame. And you can see that 0.702 before I even made that video, that $9.5 error, which I was talking about, has literally been a pain in the backside. So you can see there we've had about three, four days now where we've touched it. We've literally wicked above it and just rejected it. You can see it a little bit better on the four hour chart. You can see right there that, you know, how many times have we actually just got to that level and just rejected it. So it's something that we were definitely expecting to happen. That is why we are experiencing a dip as well. Um, obviously, you know, Bitcoin, total altcoin market cap, they do come into question too, which I will take a look at in a second too. Um, but ultimately what we can see right here is that uh, Trias did end up grinding back up to the 0.702 retracement, which is right there at $9.5. And it's found a lot of um, rejection right here. But as I said, the good news is, is that, you know, we've hit that a few times now. And I'm pretty sure the next time we do end up coming um, around this level right here, uh, we could end up just breaking through it. And the great thing is, is that whenever something does break through the 0.702 after finding a lot of resistance there, it tends to just go. Of course, you've got the final retracement at the 0.786. Um, but obviously, in Trice's case, the 0.702 has been the main target that we need to get through. OK, and the reason why I say that $13 would basically be coming next after that is because if we look at this from a full retracement point of view uh, we can see that the next um, retracement actually comes right there at 13.7 dollars the 0.382 okay so on a short term time frame we're looking at 19.5 dollars then on the actual full retracement um, I could see us heading up to around the 13.7 dollar level okay obviously a few things we need to realize is that trice did end up holding support really well down here okay really well down here and it just kept bouncing on it bouncing on it and we have ended up breaking out right here um which is amazing to see some could even argue that we have just back tested that which is very bullish something i've been seeing all over twitter um, is the cup and handle formation, which um, is not actually something that I was personally um, noticing, not something I was looking at, but it is pretty clear here. You know, you do have a very clear cup and handle formation happening right here. If I was to just draw this perfectly right here, you can see that we did break out of the handle. And um, what we've got right now is that our back test of the handle. Um, you know, we have to wait and see, but it is looking really good. It is definitely a cup and handle formation and cup and handle formations always always tend to start um you know they, they're very bullish so once you end up breaking out back testing it that is your sign to go so the fact that we've got a cup and handle formation right here the fact that we have back tested the cup and handle and also the fact that we have found resistance on that 0.702 two or three times now um basically suggests to me that after us actually back testing our cup and handle and our breakout right here uh, that could suggest and that could give us the fuel to just go and absolutely break through it. We could even see the next extension on this fib also comes in at $13.9. So between $13 and $14 is the area uh, that I'm going to be looking for once we do end up breaking that 0.702. A couple of things that we need to keep in mind um, if we take a look uh, at our relative strength index, uh, there's a few things that we can see. Um, so we do have a breakout here. 
um, of our relative strength index, uh, which is obviously also another good thing to see. That that does come on the daily chart. And then if we go over to our four hour chart, the other thing that we do see right here, if I just get that back up, on our four hour chart on the relative strength index, we do have a bullish divergence uh, forming here as well. So, um, you know, there's quite a few things that are happening, you know, behind the scenes that, you know, people just kind of need to be keeping a close eye out on. And we do have a lot of room to grow on the relative strength index as well, even on a daily chart. The last time we ran really hard was over here. And, uh, you know, we were chilling around these levels here before we ended up absolutely going mental. Um, that is the levels that Trias is at right now. So basically what I'm trying to say is there's no reason why Trias, you know, can't just start get going. As I've said, you know, beautiful cup and handle formation happening right here with a breakout and a back test, which usually just means off you go. We found resistance at that 0.702. Once we break that, that's another indicator. We're going to go bullish divergence forming on the relative strength index as well with a breakout too. But obviously... The question does come, you know, Bitcoin, uh, you know, we'll take a quick look at Bitcoin because these are the things that I am seeing. Uh, if I take this Fibonacci retracement off, this is something, again, that I saw all over Twitter yesterday. Um, you know, this massive trend line that we've just broke out of. Um, you know, have we just back tested that as well? I don't know. We need more information on that. Um, however, if we start placing our fibs over everything, good things that we can see is that, you um, Bitcoin did break out of all fibs right here. All retracements are broken. And, um, you know, are we just now coming back to backtest the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement, which we broke out of? Um, if that's the case, then either this dip is over um, or we've literally got a tiny bit more to go. Um, so in that sense, you know, Bitcoin is looking really good. Obviously, that massive trend line that we've broken out of as well. Then the next thing we would need to do is start zooming out. From here, this was when Elon Musk on his Saturday Night Live or Friday Night Live, wherever it is. I'm not from the US, so I'm not sure. Um, but that is that after we obviously capitulate. So from this high right here, uh, there's a few things that we can see. Uh, we have now broken the 0.702. The reason why I bring this up is because Bitcoin did find the most resistance right there at the final retracement before our big dip came in. So we are grinding back up to these levels right here. We've broken through to 0.702. We need to get back above about around 53K. Then obviously after that, the last thing we need to look at for Bitcoin is the full retracement. Currently battling with the uh, the 0.618. So we need to get to that 0.702 and start heading our way up. Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to show you guys the total altcoin market cap. The reason why I bring this up is because um, Bitcoin and other charts have finished their ABC corrections. And what, what I mean by that is you've got your A, your B right here. You'll see that is why the line is there. The reason why I bring this up is because the only way that this can be confirmed that this was the bottom is if the B leg gets taken out and the B leg has not been taken out just yet. It has on the total market cap and it has on Bitcoin as well, but not particularly on this chart right now. However, if we zoom out a little bit, where have we just come back down to? Well, we've come back down to this level right here, okay, which you can see, which was previously resistance, resistance, okay, ended up turning it into support. We've just broken it again, and we've now back tested it, maybe even double tapped it as support. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, um, I do believe that this dip we are currently having right now, this morning, um, hopefully that is over because we have seemed to have come back to our support line right here. Hopefully that can hold. If it doesn't, I could see us going down a little bit further. But the fact that everything else has broken that B leg and a total altcoin market cap, had, cap hasn't, um, I can see that holding and heading its way up, which would also correlate to Trias breaking that 0.702 as well um, with the back test. Because basically what we're seeing right now, guys, is just plenty of healthy back tests, um, you know, turning things into support see right there very clear um, and hopefully we can start continuing our way back up so that's basically going to cover it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed uh, a little bit of trice um ta right there for you guys one of my favorite coins uh you know got huge targets for this and i ha i will be buying the dip this morning um it's currently at eight point was eight point seven dollars um anyway anyway as nothing i say is financial advice it's just my opinion but if you've enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys very very soon take ease people